since you left, things have been getting harder and harder for me on the team. Have you made any friends at the driver's club? I'm not really in the mood to make friends. Deciding to leave was easy, but the transfer window was closed. I know. It's tough to find a team that can sign you right now. But if you stay, you'll have to put up with Stannis. That's why I wanted to meet. Even if you're not representing a team, it's important to keep up your game. The RM Drivers Club is hosting their annual Hall of Fame race. Not a top tier race, but you can still go up against some legit competitors. Plus, it's got a lot of clout. And there's a bonus. Maybe I should give it a go. Then I'll sign you up, just in time for the next race. Get ready, race fans, because it's time for the Hall of Fame race, brought to you by the RM Drivers Club. Drivers who clinch the top three spots will punch their ticket to the final and earn themselves a bonus. And they'll enter the club's Hall of Fame, a way to leave their mark on motorsports history. Nice driving back there. What? Who's talking on my channel? <laughs> There's only one public channel for the Hall of Fame race. And whatever you say goes straight to the viewers. The sales gimmick is gonna make some serious cash. Better mind my manners then. Nah, the audience loves it when you spill the beans by accident. Did you guys hear some big shot's gonna be here to watch the race? Big shot? A bigger shot than me? Someone said management from a top team is coming to scout talent. They are guaranteed to find a prodigy, because I'm here. Who's in that C4? Slick cornering. Impressive. That's Christine. She's hella famous among us indie drivers. You know her well? I lost to her in a race not too long ago. This time, I'm taking home the win. Appreciate your confidence, Will. Why don't we have a drink after the race? The one who ranked first is... Much to our surprise, the rising star who just joined Pioneer Junior not long ago. Quick update, folks. We just got word that this driver is no longer with Pioneer. Too bad we're not in a transfer window yet. We're not sure what went down with the departure, but let's focus on the positive. Congratulations to our winner. An absolute pleasure to race with you. Sensational driving skills. Yeah, I'm Will from Warrior Racing. Can we swap contacts? Sure, why not? I heard you left Pioneer Junior. It's not even the transfer window yet. What went down? Long story short, I won the promotion race, but my spot got jacked and given to someone else. After you earned it? Really? Man, that's messed up. Bet they gonna lose everything. Thanks. It is what it is now. I've got nothing more to say on it. Yo, forget about all that nonsense. Congratulations on the championship. Seriously. Hey, not bad. You made it to the final. I haven't got the time to check my inbox. Are you in? Of course I am. Makes sense. You're almost as good as me. Whoa, hold your horses, champ. I got more good news for you. But I'm gonna make you sweat it out to the end. Hey, Will. Want to take a wild guess at how much faster I'm going to be? Hmm. Take it easy there. You got me last time, but this time, I'm going to take the win from you. Hey, what was that good news you mentioned on the call? I recommended you to Ward. Come and join us. As long as you keep your momentum in the final, I'll take care of the rest. This is seriously the best news I've had in a long time. Thank you, Will. We keep close tabs on the news. 
Talented people like you are always welcome, especially if they enemies of our enemies. And we're off! The signal light goes out and the cars dash off the grid. Let us introduce three potential champions for this year's Hall of Fame. There's Will from Warrior, Franco, an individual driver, and the driver at the source of the Pioneer Junior scandal. I'll focus on racing, huh? Well, I got some news that might bump some of you out. VIP? Not here. Sorry. Oh, check out the view. It's good to be in first place. Damn it. This race isn't over yet. You should just sit back and enjoy the view of the Alps. The audience loves a good spec. We have a winner for this year's Hall of Fame race. Oh, congratulations to the new champion. So how's it feel to be champ again? <laughs> Guess you got to practice your autograph. I could practice on this jacket. Nah, uh -uh. this is reserved for the racing master's autograph. All right, enough messing around. The team just hit me up to make sure I keep you on board. There was a bit of an accident in our internal race, so management's tied up at the moment. But the team sent you an email invite. Make sure you check it out. Cool. I'll check my inbox. Hi, Haley. I saw the news. Congrats on the Hall of Fame win. Thanks. I've got even more good news for you. Warrior invited me to take their test. That's great. I'm really proud of you. If you're going to join Warrior, count me in. What's going on with you in Pioneer Racing? I can feel the tension between me and Stannis escalating. Uh, I've really just had enough. Besides, what's the point of staying when you've already left? You can count on me, just like I know I can count on you. Finally, you're here. We're all pumped to race with you in the assessment. Cool. Already a superstar even before joining the team. Better show what I'm capable of to live up to the hype then. Let's get to it. All the data will be recorded during the race. So bring your A-game. Will, why can you talk on my channel? 
never mind the nitty gritty. Welcome to Warrior Racing. I've got this. A perfect debut! Easy trial for you! Welcome to Warrior Race! I'll tender my resignation today. See you tomorrow. What an awesome day! Of course I'm serious. I talk to the squad and an internet influencer like me is like super in demand. In case you don't know. She's right, you know. Couldn't be better. Let's keep aiming higher and higher. I heard from Haley that she'll be joining you in Warrior. Time to move on from Pioneer and aim for something bigger, I guess. Yeah, I just passed their assessment. How are you holding up over there? Just finished dealing with the mess you and Haley made. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had time to call you. Sorry for bothering you. Thanks for your help. I really appreciate it. One thing you need to know is that Warrior's style is unique. They want their drivers to feel the thrill of the ride. It might take a bit of getting used to. You'll find drivers with unique driving styles. A valuable opportunity for you to learn from your teammates. Thanks a lot. I'm hoping to show you some new tricks. Can't wait to see your surprises. R3 Championship is coming, and we may get a chance to race. You know that? I was about to ask you. Has the team decided on the driver yet? Nah, we do it differently in Warrior. Whether you're a starting driver or a substitute, you can sign up. We have a team qualifier to decide who will race R3 Championship. Got it. I'll start to prepare. I just learned that Micah will be representing Pioneer in the R3 Championship. So... Whatever. Let's focus on our team qualifier first. No problem. As long as there's no Stannis on our team, the spot will be mine.
No worries, I've practiced this turn countless times. You just knocked Jacob off the list. He was complaining about staying up too late yesterday. Nah, that's not how we do things on our team. If he starts hating on you for this, everyone's gonna think he's a joke. That's the spirit. First race, we're up against Knights, Blade, and Thunderbird. I've raced against the Knights before, and they tend to play safe. On the other hand, Blade and Thunderbird are known for aggressive tactics and radical styles. Our team has strategies to counter them. I hope we can stick to the plan, but I'm a little worried about our other group. Joe and Grace are both hotheads who tend to act on impulse, leaving strategy behind. I hope we can stick to the plan. What does that mean, Will? Don't worry, I've raced against Blade and Thunderbird. We'll lead them in the dust. Again. Yeah, I hope so. If we beat them, we'll have enough points for the first race. You're really familiar with this track, right? We just had the team qualifiers here not long ago. Talk about home field advantage. <laughs> Okay then, let's do it! Blade's 
got an interesting strategy, having the second car run interference while the first driver goes for the win. At least they're guaranteed to have one car finish well. Hey, our results aren't too shabby either. How do they get their drivers to willingly take up the interference role? That's the art of late management. Maybe we can ask around later. Oh no! I just heard some bad news. The other group in our team, Joe and Grace, finished last. What happened? That's not even close to the performance they can deliver. Let me check. Ah, word from the team is that they ignored the strategy again, got all emotional, and let the opponents control the pace. Joe got boxed in and couldn't maneuver while Grace got pushed out of bounds. Ugh, oh, this is the same old issue with our team. Hey, it's still early in the race, so we still can turn the tide. Well, I guess it never hurts to stay positive.